Hello, my name is Mark Zoland, and I'm going to be discussing what the symptoms are of a hernia. This is a common question in my practice. This video is not a substitute for seeing medical professionals or seeking medical care. To start this conversation, we have to ask, what is a hernia? And a hernia is generally an opening in the abdominal wall. The abdominal wall surrounds the abdominal cavity, as you can see here. And the opening in the abdominal wall is literally a defect in the muscle and the fascial layers. Intra-abdominal pressure pushes structures out through these openings. Through the opening can be either fatty tissue or if the opening is large enough, intra-abdominal contents like bowel can get into the space. Hernias tend to cause a bulge that you see underneath the skin, but not always. The different types of hernias can be described as starting near the belly button, the umbilical hernia. Lower down, you have the inguinal hernia, which is above the groin crease. And just below that would be the femoral hernia, which is below what we call the inguinal ligament. Below the femoral hernia into the pelvic floor is the obturator hernia. Symptoms from hernias are often caused by compression of nerves. The nerves are the structures that go along through the space with the hernia and by compression on the nerve against the edge of the muscle, pain can be caused. Symptoms specifically of an umbilical hernia are pain around the belly button radiating outwards. The symptoms of an inguinal hernia would be more from compression on nerves within the inguinal canal shown here. The nerves that do go through this canal are the genital branch nerve as well as the ilioinguinal nerve and compression on these nerves causes pain in the area of the groin just above the groin crease and into the labia in females and the scrotum in males. Testicular pain is common with an inguinal hernia in males. The symptoms of a femoral hernia are often from compression of the femoral nerve, which is going through the femoral canal where hernias can exist. Usually it's the anterior thigh and the musculature of the anterior thigh that can be affected by a femoral hernia. And symptoms of an obturator hernia are deeper into the thigh, compressing the obturator nerve, which is going through the obturator canal. These symptoms are usually on the inner aspect of the thigh and sometimes down to the inner aspect of the knee. In conclusion, hernias can cause a bulge, but not always, and they can cause pain in the areas that we have described. If you do indeed suspect a hernia, see your medical professional. I hope this cleared things up. Thank you.